Hello again, boys and girls. Nice to see you. Today we're going to read a book that's not fiction, like this book. This book is someone's idea, someone's imagination. We're going to look at this book, which is non-fiction, which means it's about real things. And it's called, Is a Blue Whale the Biggest Thing There Is? And Robert E. Wells wrote the book, and he did the drawings too, and you can see a beautiful enormous blue whale here. Let's have a look inside. There's the blue whale swimming in the sea. And here we are. This is the tail of the blue whale. The flipper parts, they're called flukes. Just the flukes, all by themselves, are bigger than most of Earth's creatures. You can see the horse and the elephant and the lion. They're probably not as big as the whale's tail. Here's the whole blue whale. It's not just bigger than most of Earth's creatures. It's bigger than all of them. A blue whale can grow up to 30 metres long and weigh 150 tonnes. It's the biggest animal that ever lived. But of course, a blue whale is not the biggest thing there is. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at this jar. If you put 100 blue whales in a really big jar, can you see there are 100 there? and then put two of those whale jars on an enormously large platform, like a piece of wood. And then, oh dear, look, I'm going to have to turn the book this way. And then make a tremendously tall tower out of ten platforms of whale jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's an enormous amount of what blue whales. But let's turn over. And that tower of whale jars would look quite small, balanced on the top of Mount Everest. Mount Everest, of course, is our biggest mountain at the moment, our tallest. Yes, Mount Everest is certainly big. If it were hollow, if you dug out inside, it could hold millions of whale jars. But it's not even close to being the biggest thing there is. Oh, look, I have to turn the book again. Even 100 Mount Everests stacked one on top of the other. Can you see? Here are 100 going right up into the sky. Let's have a look what they look like. Oh, look. They would look like a mere whisker on the face of the earth. Can you see, like a piece of hair? And just in case you thought our earth was the biggest thing there is, well, let's have a look. Here are 100 full-sized earths in a rather large bag. Can you see it says, net contains 100 earths made with genuine soil and salt water, full size, ready to orbit. But if you put those 100 earths next to our sun, whew, there's no doubt about it, our sun is huge. More than one million of our earths would fit inside it. It's so big that it can give a sunburn from 150 million kilometres away. But even our sun is far from being the biggest thing there is. Because if our sun were turned into a sun-sized orange and packed in an immense orange crate, a big wooden box, along with 99 other sun-sized oranges, 
So there are now 100 sun-sized oranges. A taste of fire in every bite. So, whew, that must be a very big crate. Oh no, look at that. It would be set on something much bigger. A red supergiant. This supergiant star is called Antares. Now, stars come in many different sizes. Our sun and Antares are both stars, but our sun is medium-sized. And Antares is, well, it's a super giant. Antares was not always this big. All stars have lifetimes, and some, like Antares, expand. They get bigger to enormous sizes and turn red as they get close to the end of their lives. Antares has grown so big that more than 50 million of our suns would fit inside it. But how could anything be that big? How could anything be bigger? Well, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is much, much bigger. A galaxy is a gathering of a great number of stars. The Milky Way is made up of billions of stars, including Antares. Along with those stars, there are countless comets and asteroids, lots of meteors and at least nine planets. Just as a sandcastle has a shape formed by all those grains of sand it is made of, our galaxy has a shape formed by all of its stars. We cannot see the shape from Earth, but if we were outside our galaxy, looking at it from a great distance, whew, it might look like this. Something like this with a bulging galactic centre and great cloud-like swirls gl glowing with the light of billions of stars. From this distance, you could not see the galaxy's stars separately. The Milky Way must be the biggest thing there is. But wait, our galaxy is not alone. Astronomers, the scientists who study stars, report that there are billions of other galaxies out in the darkness we call space. And all of them are part of something even bigger. The universe. The universe is all the galaxies and all the dark space between them. It's everything that exists anywhere in space and time. Because it's so amazingly big, no one knows what the whole universe really looks like. But here's what a tiny part of it might look like, showing some of the many different kinds of galaxies. The universe is the biggest thing we know. More than likely, we can call it the biggest thing there is. Even with our most powerful telescopes, we cannot see to the end of the universe. So we don't know how big it really is. But this much we do know. It's a lot bigger than a blue whale. Wow, what a great story. And there's the front and back cover. And you can see here, it says, is a blue whale the biggest thing there is? Well, we know now, it's the universe. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.